Okay, last part. This thing. What we're going to do is take this in sections. And make sure that when you put this thing's attached, that it matches up with the front of this. This is section one. And this thing right here comes off like that. This side will match up because these will keep it from uh, going too far back. So we remove that like so. So we're going to work on the front area first. This thing, which just consists of this side, which is just a 2 by 8. And right here we got a curved bottom piece and another curved short bottom fat piece. And same thing on the other side. Make sure these sides hang off. And uh, the pieces that connect it would, together would be a 2x6 dark gray. And we got one of these L shaped pieces with a red and black piece, stud pieces attached to each other. The red piece is see through. Same thing for the other side, here and here. And underneath this is this uh, 1x2 that's flat with a dark gray, just like this dark gray color, uh, and an orange light. Uh, orange color attached to the other side for the stud. And that just attaches onto the end right there. Same thing goes for the other side. Now I'm going to take this attaches back on. That's pretty much that. That's for the front part. Now for the back part, right here, we got thing that connects it is a 2 by 6 so we're just going to take that off. We've got this 3 here, dark 3, uh, 2 by 3 flat with this orange stud and it's going to hook on to this piece right here, a 1 by 4 so 1 stud this way and 4 studs out dark gray goes attach two of the studs onto this end like so and have this piece over here which is also dark gray this piece hooks on the end and then we got two of these guys this one right here same thing attached on top like so with a red piece and a flat two and this thing is going to hook on like this so the flat two piece is hanging out same thing for the other side, and voila. Should look like this on the bottom. And this thing just attaches using these tubes here. Let's connect to this, and bang. And this thing over here, like so. Make sure everything's nice and sturdy. Make sure these parts that are hollow, leave them hollow, or else it'll be too heavy. For the back. Oi. Okay, um, I'll just remove that there. You got a 3 and a 1x4, dark gray both. Attach the 1x4 like so, under 3. When you attach the 3, the 1x4 that's attached to the 3 should be flush with the tan 2 by 8. Also, that's that piece. For this piece down here, you just get um, two 1 by 2 bricks that have holes in, two holes in them. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And you get a 1 by 8 piece for the uh, the rod. Make sure it's the X piece. And have this little flat gear here attached right here to help hold that. You should have at least two of these little small spacers. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Two of these small spacers right here. Space, space. Same thing on this side, say space. And then we got this piece right here, nice and floppy. Uh, you don't have to have it. I only use that because that's what I had. Um, oops. 
Uh, crap. Uh, I'll be right back. 